out. Stop racing around the clock. Step outside and feel the magic and oneness of nature. Time out. If you have picked this card, Spirit is calling for you to slow down. Take some time out from your busy schedule and the hustle and bustle of your everyday life. Chasing the clock and getting yourself all caught up in the illusion of time has taken its toll on you, dear one. For so long you have been at war with time with statements like, I just don't have enough time. Spirit understands your hunger and desire to evolve as a soul and can see the blockages that stop you from exploring further. You see the universe grant your wish on a daily basis by ensuring you don't have time. Your words hold so much power and as such should be used wisely. Feeling as though you don't have time can leave you irritable, anxious, and drained. Recharge your body, mind, and soul. Step away from the stress of the ticking clock. Step outside the natural world, smell the flowers, enjoy the sunset, and breathe in nature's beauty. Disconnect from the phone, computer, and TV and connect to nature's rhythmic cycles. Ground yourself by feeling the grass under your feet. This is the best way to unwind and renew your energy resources. By having this time out to unwind and reconnect with the oneness of nature, you will feel refreshed and renewed to continue your work with inner calm and peace. You will find that by doing this, the answers you seek will come and clarity and understanding will be achieved. An affirmation to say to yourself is, I am alive to nature's magic as I dissolve in the oneness of all that is. Associated chakra is solar plexus and heart. Energy signature. The past is in the present. Expose what has been hidden. Understand that everything is energy, the air we breathe, the elements, emotions, sound, animals, people, our thoughts. All this is energy. Quantum physics seeks to explain these phenomena. Denser or heavier energy can be felt by human beings' normal senses. Most people will already understand what it feels like to walk in a room where an argument has just taken place. Filled with an unseen tension, people react to these sensations, perhaps with an immediate awkwardness or a feeling that they need to vacate the building. As people progress through life, familiar experiences such as pattern behaviors become more clear and evident as you pay attention to the energy of the environment. People, social gatherings, events, and places around you. It's up to you, though, to be proactive with the sense of inner vision. Often you may find yourself saying, I have felt this before, or I recognize this, but I'm not sure why. Currently, you're being asked to read the energy of this issue and the people surrounding these circumstances. You must shine a spotlight and use all your senses to remove these masks and expose the energy that is being hidden from you. Not only will you identify insincere and dishonest people, you will begin to understand patterns that you have created in your life that aren't serving you to the fullest. Right now you must use your sensory and intuitive intelligence for answers. You have experienced this type of energy before, so you must ask, what is it? When recognized, you, you can adopt and modify behavior, your behavior and actions accordingly to avoid unnecessary arguments, tension and toxic situations in your social, work, or family environments. When practiced, reading the energy signatures of your environment becomes a built-in intuitive warning system. Prior to an issue occurring, you have the possibility of avoiding ex explosive exchanges, accidents, conflict, or co confrontation as it becomes in line with your fight or flight response, creating self-awareness and energetic resilience. A shadow aspect of all this is fear-mongering, sec secrecy, escapists, the sacred crystal with this card is blue lace agape. Angel assistance is Archangel Gabriel. Clear communication, music, and creative writing. An affirmation to say for yourself is, I remove the illusion that hides the truth. The answer is before me. Help from above. The positive intentions and heartfelt prayers have been heard. You are loved beyond your wildest dreams. Divine beings are working on your behalf to create the perfect circumstances for your, you to heal and open your heart. There is a higher order and timing to all things. You're being asked to work on your self-worth so that you can receive your greatest good in the form of incredible love, life-transforming opportunities, healing, abundance, and divine inspiration. Keep asking for higher help and intervention in any area of your life. Then follow your intuition and lower your barriers. Let go of any notions of how divinity will bring about your deepest heart's yearning. It may not be in the package you would expect, but it will be life-altering. 
Your heart is about to be challenged to open wall wider than ever before. That may require you to feel some feel some fear and pain. Do not run away from this experience. Take steps forward with faith that your greater good is coming. An action for this card is place your hands on your heart. Ask yourself clearly what you desire. Imagine what it looks like and feels like to have this. Then surround this image with silver light. Imagine sending this image with the silver light into the middle of the universe. Ask that you receive this image or something much better. Take a moment to reflect on feeling good like you already have the help you require. So this was the first part of the reading. This is the foundation for you in September. We're supporting guides, energy, um, universal presence beneath you, grounding you with a timeout for yourself and recognizing energy signatures and not get into bad signatures or bad mojo or whatever energy auras whatever stay away from that stay in the good connect things and recognize that you have help from above assisting you with all of this wings of isis uniting with angelic self you have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic world part of your soul purpose is to birth angelic cons consciousness and values such as to birth uh, as fearlessness compassion and service into the human culture this oracle brings you angelic assistance and intervention and confirmation that any impressions you may have had that you belong not only to the human kingdom but also to the angelic one are correct you have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic world and are helping to birth angelic qualities of fearlessness light service and to the greater good in the alignment of divine will in the human form. This is no small task, and although you are well equipped to succeed, there are beings that wish to assist you so that you may grow into and your success may be more graceful and swift. Isis, Divine Winged Mother, Goddess, and Angel of Healing wishes to assist you with unconditional love now. You are guided to accept angelic assistance and ask for Lady Isis, who loves you unconditionally, to assist you with an inner integrating angelic energies into your consciousness and life. You'll be asked to lift yourself up to higher and higher vibrational states of awareness, and this may mean letting go of certain relationships, practices, or stress of being, or even particular habits or thought patterns that would lower your vibration into fear, doubt, or shame. Give yourself permission to just let this happen. Do not let, need to be forced on anything. It is a matter of softening, allowing, and trusting what feels right for you with absolute faith and bold radical acceptance. It will be okay. There are others like you on this planet, beloved initiate, though far from the majority, you occupy a special role in the evolution of human consciousness as it connects more deeply and twines with the natural world. The more you accept this part of you, the more you shall draw into the world others like you. You will just feel comfortable with each other because you all hold a similar refined vibration. Even in the midst of ordinary, everyday relationships, there is a sense of easy connection, mutual understanding, and spiritual acknowledgement. This oracle is also a confirmation that you have, if that if you have been asking to connect with your angel, praying to a particular angel or archangel, or have been thinking more about angels lately, that genuine connection has been made between you and the angelic kingdom. The angels send you love and peace now and say, "We are with you, beloved one." Harmonic flight. Harmonic flight. Seeing the divine in the eyes of another, relationships with deep bonds, karmic connection, clearing illusionary projection, life-changing connection, transmuting dissonance, removing heart armor, being seen, teamwork. This powerful image represents the divine we see when we look deeply into the eyes of another and our armor drops. When we meet another being present in the moment with no stories, judgments, or insecurities, I felt a little overwhelmed and intimidated when I painted this card. I wasn't quite ready or didn't fully fathom the message. Then, some months later, I experienced it when I was looking into the eyes of my beloved. Shortly after, I encountered the divine in the eyes of the stranger when space was held for this surrendered openness. When we see the person standing before us as the gods and goddesses they are, it is a reminder that we are what we perceive in others. But also, we, when we drop into the mindless, mindless space of pure essence, 
we might see the world seeing us, seeing them, seeing the infinite eternal, allowing all that is. Many people are seeking their twin flame, as life-changing, world-rocking, and unfathomably beautiful finding the soul can be. It is quite possible one of the most intensely confronting, trigger-provoking, and sometimes painful connections we can have. Those who are most dear to us can bring us to our greatest, greatest growth. That is why spending extended periods with our family can be challenging. When we can see and be seen, disarmored and trusting, we can come to deeper love. However, this deepening process can trigger the release of outdated and unhealthy patterns. Thus, shadows may be brought to the surface to heal. When we feel safe in the arms of our beloved, our defenses yield so we fall further into our hearts. However, fear-based reflections or projections can surface in this place of deep vulnerability. Subconscious behaviors, including childhood patterning, can also present themselves. It can seem as if our partner is provoking difficulties, bringing things up and making it feel like our whole world is about to fall apart. At this point, we may want to retreat, but if we can be truly present, our fears can fall away and this becomes an extensive experience. Expansive, sorry, not extensive, expansive experience. When we have a profound twin flame connection that fills beyond worlds and lifetimes, we bond with the other person so strongly that we choose to face the fire when we would usually walk away. Our passion drives us to seek resolution, to heal ourselves, to overcome barriers, no matter how confronting it may seem, because our partnership is worth it, and when we can rise, we rise together. Somehow, incredibly, the universe seamlessly aligns the places the twin flames need healing. Their triggers may be synchronized so that when they feel uncentered, or there is codependence or imbalance, it can be a very volatile space. If they find safety and the love, and they are willing to see and be seen, their triggers can blossom into deep, transformative healing for them both. This healing can forge the foundations for long-term companionship. Alternatively, this, completed, this completion could mark an ending, as the intense potency of a connection neutralizes. The relationship may transform into a different kind of unconditional love. Harmonic flight shows us that when we harmonize our energy, with that of another in any form of relationship, we can soar to the sky. We can guide each other higher and higher, but encouraging all that has been weighing us down to drop away. All right, the middle part, the second tier, is all about what you can do, what you need to focus on, what you can work on. You know, understanding that you have guides or ancestors or angels or whatever you want to believe helping you. And seeing others in yourself and yourself and others with a harmonious spiraling out kind of connection in life and the universe with taking a time out foundation, grounding yourself, energy signatures to recognize your, where, if you're in the right place at the right time or if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. And you have help from above so you don't be afraid to just be stuck in a corner in fear of whatever. So like, you know, just... Understand what you're working on and what you have helping you. Tantra of 639 Hertz. Be open to that which seems unfamiliar or different. You will experience a breakthrough as you embrace an unusual approach. You are on your a soul path of accelerated spiritual growth, which is swifter but not always easier. You do not have to contrive your own happiness, but you can dip into the bliss within your body to lighten your mental state and remind yourself everything is working out beautifully. Tantra is the conscious, creative intermingling of the sacred masculine and sacred feminine energies that dwell within every human heart. When one chooses to honor the interplay of those sacred energies, we become able to engage with the mysteries of our life and respond creatively. Tantra is the refusal to turn away from your life experiences, even the painful ones, because you recognize that with wisdom, spiritual growth can emerge from all things. Tantra is the willingness of your heart to thoroughly embrace that which might be difficult or different to what you we expect. And through such open-minded, open-hearted engagement, discover a capacity to love and become wise. Tantra is the sacred relationship of the spirit and the body which creates the soul with all its precious gifts of healing, creativity, love, and higher consciousness. The frequency of 639 hertz evokes unity. It moves beneath conflict and grounds us in simplicity, connection, and love. When Tantra of 639 Hertz is in a reading, soul connections, whether twin flame, soulmates, 
spirit guides, or soul tribe are especially significant to our spiritual growth. This frequency enhances the capacity for conscious and healing interaction between those who have been at odds. It is also a loving cosmic bliss bomb which breaks the toxic grip of ego and facilitates soulful connection and karmic healing. If you have been working through relationship issues, this oracle brings good news for healing and resolution. This frequency also clears and strengthens the energy flow through the inner systems of the body, promoting cellular renewal. The heart healing brought about this frequency heightens our spiritual awareness so we can navigate in both our relationships and our environments with more discernment and skill. When we cannot control our environments, we can work to become masterful of our own energy. The oracle brings re reassurance. This frequency reestablishes re our connection to the spiritual realm of love, light, and sacred healing beauty. It is the sublime frequency of ecstatic serenity. These beautiful energies can enter our field and create a removable spiritual feast which will nourish, support, protect, and shelter us, no matter the environment we may be moving through. The Oracle of Tantra 639 Hertz asks you to allow connection. Do not zone out and turn away from what is happening, even when it is painful. Be gentle with yourself, but be persistent on your path. If you cannot proceed along a certain course, find another way and do not abandon your dreams. Be receptive and yet also determined and dynamic. If you have been worrying about a situation, this Oracle advises you are working your way through it. Whatever support you need shall be provided and you are further along than you realize. The highest divine outcome is already being woven through your soul and into your experience. Things may not go up as planned, but they are still going to work out. So with the top tier, we have the higher self, God, the force, universe, quantum physics, um, looking up as above, um, giving you a message about how you are the big picture of everything, right? Harmonic flight, seeing others in yourself and yourself and others and how we are interconnected with karmic experiences. The wings of Isis protecting you, helping you, guiding you. Focus on that. If you don't and you get disillusioned, you're going to get wrapped up in this and thinking only one person is like me when that's not true. Yeah. So you need to take time, recognize energy signatures, and be aware of the help from above. So like, you actually have to think about it and focus on it and pray or and communicate with the higher self and seeing how it's all interconnected and we're all one. There is no separation with energy, right? There's only a separation with the material world, the 3D aspect. Hey Capricorn, this is your Oracle reading for October 2021. Capricorn, October 2021. Black cat. Divination of the Ancients message for Capricorn, October of 2021. Runes, Perception. Divine Circus message for Capricorn, October 2021. Cherry on top. Sacred Rebels message for Capricorn, October 2021. Come to life. Shamanic medicine message for Capricorn, October of 2021. 
Sacred Sight. Mystical Shaman message for Capricorn, October of 2021. The Rattle. 